Welcome back to Earth from Space. In this week's edition, the Copernicus Sentinel-2 mission takes us over part of the Great Rift Valley in Kenya. The valley is part of the Gregory Rift, an eastern branch of the East African Rift, which has been caused by the separation of the Somali Plate from the Nubian Plate. Major tectonic and volcanic activity have shaped the distinctive landscape of the Great Rift Valley, which runs through Kenya from north to south. The dramatic landscape contains the Cherangani Hills and forests to the west, a chain of volcanoes, of which some are still active, escarpments, and jewel-like lakes. Lake Baringo, one of the most northern of the Kenyan Rift Valley lakes, is visible at the top. With a surface area of around 130 square kilometers and an elevation of around 970 meters, the lake has an average depth of around 5 meters and is one of the two freshwater lakes in the Rift Valley. The lake has no visible outlet. Its waters are thought to seep into lavas at its northern end, where the rocky shore contrasts with the alluvial flat on its southern border. Baringo is dotted with several small islands. Its largest is visible in the center of the lake and is called Old Kokwe, also known as the Meeting Place. It is an extinct volcano with several hot springs. A great variety of birds inhabit Lake Baringo, which is also home to hippopotamuses and crocodiles. South of Lake Baringo lies Lake Bogoria, a saline alkaline lake. The long and narrow lake has an area of around 30 square kilometers and is around 10 meters deep. Lake Bogoria provides refuge for the lesser flamingo with a population of around 1 to 1.5 million and also supports more than 300 water bird species. The lake is famous for geysers and hot springs along the banks of the lake, some of which can erupt up to 5 meters high. The lake's stable water level makes it highly important during times of drought. Copernicus Sentinel-2 was a two-satellite mission to supply the coverage and data delivery needed for Europe's Copernicus program. The mission's frequent revisits over the same area and high spatial resolution allow changes in inland water bodies to be closely monitored. 